watch you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how to check ram specifications in windows 10 now there's quite a few ways of going about doing this but i want to show you a way of doing this inside command prompt and also some software a little bit later on in the video now someone has commented and asked about how to do this in command prompt so i thought i'd make a quick video showing you how to do it so open up the command prompt by typing cmd in the search box and run this as administrator you should see a black command prompt box opening up on the screen here and what we're going to do is first off we're going to do this first command which will find the memory manufacturer so type in this command here it's quite a big command but once you've typed this in once you can basically uh, just push your uh, cursor keys on there to bring it back up and just change the end um, value here so let me go ahead and type this out so we've got WMIC memory chip get and we've got a device locator and then comma space manufacturer so once you push enter here this will give you the manufacturer of that RAM without even opening up the computer so you can see we've got Corsair RAM inside this system so that's basically what we got in here so the next thing we want to do is find out the part number for that RAM so to type in the next one just push the up arrow key on your cursor keys on your keyboard and then just change the end value to part number that's all we need to do here and then push enter and this will give us the part number for that particular ram as you can see here this is the part number now this is a little label that will be on the ram uh, on your ram stick which you will basically have matched paired RAM you can see it's all the same number and that's because we're using matched paired RAM here you can then do a search on Google and that will tell you which RAM you've got and it will give you the SKU number there and all the information that you want about that RAM so you can even order more RAM if you need to so now what we're going to do is try to find the serial number this doesn't always show up on the command prompt so we're just going to push the up arrow key on the keyboard for your on your cursor keys here and this will basically bring up the command we did before and change the end value to serial number and push enter you can see it's only found at the zeros here it hasn't found or detected uh, that serial number but you may be a bit more successful uh, with that so what we're going to do next is type in our next command and we'll see whether we can find uh, the memory speed so type in this next command so just push the up arrow key on the keyboard and all you need to do is just change the end value to speed it's as simple as that and next up we'll push enter and there you see we've got 3600 megahertz of speed that's what is being registered inside here so we know that's a 3600 megahertz next we can try and find the memory capacity and you need to put in this command just change the speed to capacity at the end or you could just type it all out it's entirely up to you but we're just going to do this and type out capacity push enter and you can see it's give us the capacity here next we can try to find the memory type so let's go ahead and uh, type out the command and we'll find the memory type so all we need to do is change the end again from capacity to memory type and then we'll put that into here and hopefully we can find the memory type so let's quickly type this out now of course you can do this with software as well which saves you a lot more time but if you want to learn a little bit about computers then doing this is also very useful you can see it's give us a zero here and that means it's unknown it can't find it but here's a list of all of the ones that it will detect and show up on the screen here so if yours was a different value it will be listed on that list there okay so let's do the form factor let's try and find the memory form factor here so we would need to put in their form factor at the end and push enter and you can see here it's give us a, a number of eight there is a list here and that says it's a dim if it was any other type here it will be listed on there and you'll see it listed so it can detect quite a few okay so let's move on uh, to the next one which we're going to do here which is giving us the full memory details of that memory so you could just do this command if you wanted to instead of doing one separate command and this will give us the list of the full uh, memory chip so just do that command there so I'll quickly uh, type this out so it's WMIC 
memory chip, list and full. Push enter once that's done and this will give us the full list. So let's just quickly finish this off, push enter. And you can see here it's given us the information for each bank on that motherboard, so each slot, and it's given us the memory uh, readout. So we've got bank zero, and you've got the capacity there, and you'll see the ones we've just typed out there, which is the manufacturer name, also the form factor, and also you can see here on that list, the actual speed, and a bunch of other information there. And it shows each bank, so if there were different sticks in there, it would give you different information for each bank, each uh, stick of memory that's plugged into that motherboard. So let's go, go ahead and type out another command here which is quite useful and this will give you the full list and determine the memory speed, memory size, type and stuff like that all in one command. So you can put it all in one big list here which is what we've just typed out and put them in a big list and type them out in one big group and it puts them in nice groups like capacity and you can see uh, device locator form factor here and also we've got manufacturer memory type part number serial number and just speed and it's all listed out in nice order there which makes it very simple and easy to understand without even opening up the computer case now also you can do this in powershell and i'm not going to go through a whole bunch of the same things through powershell but there is commands which you can run inside powershell which does the same thing so basically you'd open up PowerShell and we'll just put one command in here like so, push enter and it will give you a bunch of information which we've already covered. So loads more information there, doing it via PowerShell, just a different command, that's all. But it's the same thing as you can see here, bank one, capacity, uh, speed, and other bits and pieces inside there. It does give you max voltage and also minimum voltage and things like that, which is uh, nice as well. So that's all listed inside there. Very simple and easy to do. Now there is some other commands you can run which I'll leave in the video description of this video so you can just copy and paste those in and try them out for yourself. And you can see here, we've just done the same thing here, slightly different command, but it gives you the same results. Now, as I said, you can do all of this in software as well. And this is just one particular piece of software which I wanted to show you which is AIDA64. And again, what you can do is go to the motherboard section, then click on memory here, and this will give you all of the physical memory, the total memory used, free, utilized, and stuff like that. So you can work all that out by a piece of software without doing it in command prompt. If you wanted to go down that route, you can look at SPD. And again, it does give you the name, Corsair, it does give you the uh, part number, and also does give you uh, some other information here. You can see this software didn't detect the serial number, so that's the reason why uh, the command prompt didn't show it either. It does give you the memory uh, speed and also the voltage, and there's other information here like memory timings as well, which is very useful, cast latency and stuff like that. You can get all that information on this piece of software. So this piece of software is not free, but I will show you a P piece of software which is free which you can use to get some memory information if you want to. So let me go ahead and quickly show you that. Also this software does put a link in there which takes you straight, straight to the product uh, information page of that memory. So we're going to look at this piece of software which is CPU-Z and uh, it's based on uh, getting some information about say for instance the CPU and the memory so it's very good uh, getting the information you can see it's DDR4 and you can see it's giving us a bunch of information here about the frequency and it also gives you the cast latency and a bunch of other stuff inside here and that's very useful if you wanted to find that information out if you go to SPD it also gives you the information tells you uh, what the manufacturer for the DRAM is and also the DDR4 and the speed here in megahertz gives you a bunch of other information here as well, your timings, and you can change it per slot so you can work out which memory stick is in what slot. And this is all the same memory because it's all match paired and you should try to buy a match paired whenever possible uh, because it stops you from having conflictions or any sort of issues with your memory. 
Okay, now we also also have here system information, which is built into Windows. It's very sort of basic information, but it does give you enough information to find out how much memory you've got and stuff like that. So you can use system information to get some basic uh, specs on your system. Now there's quite a few options when it comes to software that will gather information about the system. Uh, Specky is one of them and there's a bunch of other software out there which will do the same thing. So if you don't want to go down the paid route you can always use the free versions which are available which will give you information about the system as well. So I find this sort of stuff quite interesting and also very useful especially if you want to quickly find out what type of memory you've got and how much memory you've got or what the memory speed is and what the model number is without even opening up the case you can actually do this via these methods I've showed you. You can even see inside the task manager here it just gives you some basic information about uh, how much memory you've got and what's in use and that's in the task manager on the taskbar. Anyway I think that's going to be about it for this video. Hope this one's been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you've got any video requests or anything like that leave them down in the comments section below and I'll try and do my best to make those videos for you. Thanks again for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.